Hello, and welcome to Schmidty's Guide to Pistol DPS in Secret World Legends. This guide is targeted towards players who will be using pistol as their primary weapon, and will be going over a build and a short rotation for each other weapon in the secondary slot. Uh, just go right into it with the pistols that I think are good, starting with Sovtech Harmonizers. Any time that you already have a matching pair, you have a chance to upgrade that pair whenever you fire a pistol shot. So, you can upgrade white to blue, you can upgrade blue to red, and it is important to note that anytime you do that, you reset your uh, timer for your matching set all the way back to three seconds. So you can have up to like seven or eight seconds worth of uh, matching pistol chambers here, which is absolutely crazy. So that's one of the best ones. Uh, other honorable mentions are going to be the uh, Nancy probability adjusters which make it so that whenever you spin the chambers and do not land on a matching set your next spin is more likely to grant you a match uh, that seems to be good I have troubles finding that to be better than Sovtech harmonizers since you still get more time with matching sets because you can upgrade and those upgrades always happen to be better and better as you go so it gives you more time with blue and red than you would get otherwise uh, the other one that I think is worth looking at here is the um, malice misery and malice there we go and that makes it so that whenever you land on a matching set of p chambers you your pistol abilities do more damage you're already incentivized to use only pistol abilities during matching pairs because you do only more damage when you're using pistol abilities but this is still a nice little addition to that. So it just continues on uh, incentivizing you to do what you wanted to do already. There are other things out there like uh, heavy caliber rounds, which makes it more likely to gain red, but less likely to gain white and blue. Uh, and honestly, I just haven't tested those enough to see if the extra chance to get a red matching pair is worth the loss of the... Uh, white and blue sets or not so I can't really get behind that even though it may be good so let's look at our uh, core build here I'm gonna be using hair trigger I'm gonna be using kill blind dual shot and trick shot then our core passives are going to be heavy caliber rounds flashé rounds bamboozle and focused fire and we're just gonna I'm just gonna talk about kill blind here over flourish for a second. You can absolutely use flourish as well, but this just provides so much for the party, right? It has a ability to stun, so you can impair things as a last ditch effort. Uh, it applies exposed. It applies debilitated. It extends the duration of matched chambers that you have. With the passive, it does substantial damage. And if you do not already have a matching set of cha chambers, it gives you one for free, right? This isn't even your elite. It's just ridiculously good. So that's why I'm using it over Flourish, even though Flourish is an absolutely fine way to do it too. It's just this seems to help smooth out the rotation really well, while also providing a lot of support for your party. So, uh, for Blade, we'll be using Swallow, Cut, and Spirit Blade, and then we'll be using Measure Twice, Cut Once, and this essentially makes it so that we will always have Spirit Blade up, which is why I have a full Spirit Blade already, because the damage that you'll be doing for most fights is going to be with a full Spirit Blade, because this allows you to just keep it up really easily as a secondary 100% of the time. So, for our general rotation, uh, we're going to be using Trick Shot, then we're going to be trying to burn a little bit of blade energy or secondary energy to make it so that we're not uh, wasting energy. Then we're just going to immediately go into kill blind. And from there, we just sort of follow the path that the matched chambers gives to us, trying to use pistols whenever we have a matched chamber and use our secondary whenever we don't. So, uh, trick shot, use some blade energy. You see that we upgraded to a different set of chambers here, so we're just going to blast. And now that we have run out of that, we're just kind of going to swing for a little bit before we go back into pistol. So we got a matching pair there. Got another matching pair. We're going to try to make sure we have enough energy. 
to use pistol abilities. And even if you have to use hair trigger when you have a matching set of chambers, do it. It is super worth it. Alright, burn some blades up here. Did we get a little bit of extra time? Ah, we couldn't quite get extra time. That's disappointing. We're being kind of bad with our uh, spirit blade, but even from here, you can always just keep going until you get good stuff. Anyway, that should be a rotation. Alright, so let's see how we did. Uh, a little bit below what I would expect. Uh, this generally does about what you want, which is ten times your item power and damage. But uh, we were kind of kind of lackadaisical with our spirit blade here, so we were about to let it break, which should never happen with measure twice cut once. So <laughs> we were being we were being a little uh, little lazy there, but it's still uh, decent damage. You're trying to get to about 10 times your damage, and this is very close to that. It's usually actually beating it by a little bit. But we'll go from there into one of the best secondaries in the game, which is a hammer. We're just using Demolish and Seethe with Outrage. And uh, honestly, putting in Obliterate, the passive for Demolish, is probably better than either Fleche Rounds or Bamboozle. But uh, we're just not going to do that because it's our core and we're just going to leave our core alone, but that is worth playing with. So, again, we're going to start with Trick Shot. This time we're going to use Demolish, Seethe, Demolish, and then we're just immediately going to lag into Oblivion. Um, we're going to immediately go back into uh, Kill Blind so that we can try to get the benefits out of it. Shouldn't have used the second hammer attack there because it could have given me the uh, Pneumatic Maul's special ability, and if it had, we wouldn't have been able to take advantage of it there. So, well, yeah, basically whenever we get matching chambers, we are just trying to use them, because it is just so good to use them. Uh, we were supposed to queue up... Yeah, our big attack there. So we'll go to one more of our elites, one more trick shot, call it a rotation here. Probably finish off with the little hammers as well because it's really good. Okay, so we expect, yeah, really good DPS, we get really good DPS. In fact, this is probably a little bit under what I would expect from Hammer, just because Hammer does so much damage, we didn't get a lot of Pneumatic Maul procs, because we didn't critically hit our Hammer a lot. So that that changes our DPS substantially, and we're still doing great DPS. Uh, next, we will have Pistol Fist. Uh, I have found that it is very difficult to use Wrath here effectively, because of how focused we need to be on our matching chambers to make Pistol work well. So I'm just using Savagery instead of, one of, the, instead of Wrath, and we'll be using Mangle with the Maul passive. So basically, Trick Shot, Savagery immediately, and then just Kill Blind to get rid of that cooldown as quickly as possible, and then we're just kind of following the uh, matching chambers wherever they lead us. And yeah, once in a while like that, uh, you'll see that you're about to get to the end of a matching set of chambers, you'll use a fist attack, you'll get like a matching red, and you'll be like, no, <laughs> but it's okay. You gotta use that energy sometime. And we'll go for one more trick shot here. As you can see, I'm at least trying, for the most part, to use 
fist attacks when we are at the end of the line for our uh, mashing chambers. All right, let's see how we did with this one. Uh, all right, again, 10 times our item power is exactly what we're looking for. Fist hasn't been like an incredible secondary because the only way to make it really good is by using the mechanic, which is Wrath, and it just doesn't work well with Pistol here. So I like to use Savagery, which still works well, uh, but it's not going to be the level of like Shotgun or Hammer as a secondary. Those are super good. Uh, next we'll go into Pistol Blood, speaking of bad secondaries. So I'm just going to be using Maleficium and Desecrate here with the Defilement passive. And the goal is going to be to use our Maleficiums after Desecrate, since it makes it so that for 6 seconds after using it, we don't take damage from Corruption, which is really nice. Uh, again, not a great secondary. We have to use this 2.5 second channeled ability. It's just kind of throws a wrench into our pistol plans here. So we're actually just going to be ignoring blood until we've gone through our first set. We're going to do trick shot, kill blind, follow our matching chambers until they lead us into something where we don't have a match set, and then we'll start looking at blood. So trick shot, kill blind, we're just going here. Yeah, we're getting all the way through red. We are absolutely doing that. We have to use one Maleficium before we can use Desecrate. And then we can use one pistol ability in there and still get uh, value out of the uh, Desecrate's ability to make it so we're not taking damage. We're not doing damage to ourselves here. And you can see it's just, it's really hard to fit these two and a half second long channeled attacks in. as effectively as we can on other stuff. We're still going to try. But it can be difficult. Here we have a little bit of chance to do that. Should have been blasting like crazy. You don't know why I was using my basic ability there. Yeah, we're at 15 energy again. We just need to glue our hand to this. Ah, we didn't quite get kill blind in time for the matching red bear. That's too bad. We need to glue our hand to this power ability, though. And that should be good enough. Okay, see how we did here. Yeah, so we're not doing great damage. We are at half HP for no reason. I just don't like blood as a secondary. Opinion me. And obviously it makes the... Can I get my health back? Thank you. Obviously it makes the uh, rotation just a little bit more difficult. It's harder to not waste energy. It's harder to get a lot of the stuff done the way you would want to. So here we're going to be using Breakdown and Reality Fracture with Rend Space. And uh, that makes it so that, as you can tell, we're going to have tons of Exposed, right? We'll be able to do 100% time on Exposed all by ourselves. And we're just going to start off with Reality Fracture, then Trick Shot, then Kill Blind. Try not to waste Chaos Energy and see where the matching chambers take us. So, let's start off here. Burn some uh, Chaos Energy while we have the chance there. Probably should have just used another Pistol Attack since we had a matching blue set. Definitely should be using pistol only because we have a matching red set. There we go. A little fupa there. And we just keep going. We don't have a matching pair, so we're just gonna gonna blast. Whoa, the lag! Alright, so this one might also be a little bit off of what I would expect normally. We'll go to one more uh, trick shot. Alright, so I think that's 
Yeah, okay, so this one, not great, but it does usually do about average damage, somewhere in the 45 to 4600 version there. But as you saw, we had uh, we had some pretty awesome lag when all three of our cooldowns just boop, went on cooldown at the same time. So I definitely lost some damage there. Uh, next we're going to be going to Pistol Ellie. Uh, Ellie, one of the best secondaries in the game as well. Also can be used at range, which is really nice. So we'll be using Mjolnir and Crystallized Flame with the Crystallized Blaze passive, because this is just too good to not use. Makes Crystallized Flame do almost as much damage as an Elite if the creature that you're attacking stays in it the whole time. That is kind of the caveat, is this is a small AoE ability, and they got to stay in the same place for 10 seconds. So that's why it can have that kind of damage and still not be an elite. So uh, we'll be starting off with Crystallized Flame, then just immediately going into Trick Shot, Kill Blind, and then follow these chambers. Looks like we'll have a good chance to get rid of some uh, Ellie energy there right off the bat, which is nice. Makes it so it's a lot smoother, a lot easier to just pay attention to pistol. Always want to make sure that when you have crystallized flame coming up, you're going to be ready to use it. Oh, we actually got a nice mashing pair there. We're going to lose a little bit. Oh, hey, we still got to a red, though. Nice. Got a little lucky there. We'll take it. Yeah, so far this is going really nice. I honestly don't know if it is correct to use uh, your pistol attack there when you have a matching red set of chambers, or if it is correct to immediately use uh, your crystallized flame ability. It's one of the two, but I actually don't know which one it is. Okay, so we're just gonna finish up here. All that a rotation. Should be solid damage, yep, nicely above what we expect. Usually I lose a tiny little bit of damage there because while I swap over and stop the DPS timer, uh, Crystallized Flame is continuing to do its tiny little, like, thousand DPS, so it, it lowers our DPS a little bit, but still really solid. Can be used at range. Great secondary. Uh, then we're going to run into the uh, firearm only section. We're going to be using pistol shotgun. Again, one of the best secondaries in the game. Pistol shotgun is a great build loadout. We're going to be using raging shot with shell salvage. We're going to be using salvage expert so that we can always just keep on reloading our uh, dragon breath rounds because you'll always have the ability to do that by pressing whatever button shell salvage happens to be on when you need to reload which makes it really consistent for shotgun to do good secondary damage. So, I'm going to use a trick shot, raging shot, kill blind, sort of follow our matching chambers wherever they lead us, burn some shotgun energy so we get the most out of shell salvage, and then just keep going. first rotation can be a little dicey because it's difficult to make sure that you're uh, not going to max out your energy since Shell Salvage is so insanely ridiculously good. But, you know, that's, that's a good problem to have. We'll take that problem whenever we get it. After that, it should be fairly easy to stay at a lower energy level, low enough that you're not really worried about um, messing everything up as far as energy goes. And since you'll be getting 100% value out of your uh, shell salvage at that point in time, it becomes quite powerful. All right, so that's about a minute long rotation. How'd we do? Crazy good. Yep, pistol shotgun. It's really good. So, Entertainingly, Raging Shot was our highest damage there, which means we never critically hit with Trick Shot, and we are still doing absolutely bonkers damage. So, <laughs> Pistol Shotgun is super great. Uh, that brings us to our last one here, which is going to be Pistol Rifle. We will be using Burst Fire with Incendiary Grenade, and we... Ooh, my mouse will 
pay attention here. So we'll be using Slow Burn as our secondary. So, uh, again, I say this every time, and Rifle tends to do really good damage each time, but Rifle's not a great secondary, because it depends greatly upon how often you slot grenades, and I have just been getting really lucky in a lot of my, uh, in a lot of my guides, where I'll get, you know, 80 to 90% of my burst fires will slot a grenade, when it should really only be about 60-65%. So keep that in mind, over time, grenade tends to not be a great secondary, because you'll not be getting a lot in the way of uh, consistent grenades without putting a little bit more effort into the secondaries and passives and stuff here. So, uh, we'll be using Trick Shot, then I'm actually going to be using one Burst Fire. If we slot a grenade, we're using it immediately. If not, we're going to Kill Blind. Either way, we go to Kill Blind afterwards. So basically, Trick Shot, Burst Fire, if we go to Grenade, use it and then Kill Blind. If we don't, immediately to Kill Blind. So, here we go. Trick Shot, Rifle, got our grenade. And then, we'll start off. Oh, and word to the wise... Oop, come on. There we go. Word to the wise... Uh, do not use your rifle if you do not have at least enough energy to use burst fire and a uh, grenade immediately afterwards, because you do not want to be wasting that grenade. Also, if you already have a grenade slotted, do not use burst fire again until you have used that grenade. Because you will lose the ability to slot another grenade, and both of those things will cause significant loss of DPS, like a lot of DPS lost. And as you can see, we're still trying to just use pistol whenever we have a matching pair. We can use rifle anytime to get the damage out of that. We are not concerned. And that should be our rotation here. See how we did. It's going to be crazy good. Yeah, because we slotted a whole ton of grenades. <laughs> um, so, yeah. like, I, it, Don't get me wrong. Rifle still winds up being a good secondary. I just don't think it is as good as, say, shotgun or elementalism or hammer once you get into a longer rotation where you start not slotting incendiaries 80% of the time. And that is going to be our pistol guide. We only have one left, which is, in fact, this rifle, which is an incredibly good primary. I hope to see you there.